Arturo Lopez Levy teaches in the political science department at the University of Texas. He is co-author of Raul Castro and the New Cuba. I asked him why there is still a trust issue between the United States and Cuba. Well, because the move to normalize relations has come only from the executive branch. President Obama has tried to improve relations, and in fact, there has been a significant uh, increase and uh, expansion of trade and travel, but uh, still the embargo is the law of the land, and there is a lot of uncertainty about the 2016 elections and what will the next president do in the U.S.-Cuba relations. Well, Cuba and China have enjoyed a long relationship with uh, China being Cuba's second largest trading partner, so much so that the United States has been left in the dust. Cuba is turning to China for bu many business opportunities right now at this critical time. Why is that? Oh, I think first because there are strategic reasons from Cuba's foreign policy. First, China is seen as a partner, an ideological partner, where the Chinese Communist Party and the Cuban Communist Party has had a very strong tie uh, from many, many years ago, uh, decades. The problems that were associated with the Chinese-Soviet dispute in which Cuba took the side of the Russians, of the Soviets, uh, are long solved. And uh, President Fidel Castro first, and secondly, even more intensely, President Raul Castro had expressed sympathy for the Chinese model in which you have some uh, economic opening, but political stability is preserved by the keeping of the one-party system. I think that's a very important strategic decision by the Cubans. In addition to that, the Cuban nationalists uh, sentiment always try to diversify relations beyond the United States because there is a kind of natural gravity to have a strong tie in the Western Hemisphere, particularly with the great power that the United States is. Arturo, let's talk about your new book. You refer to Raul Castro and the new Cuba in it. Let me ask you, how do the market reforms in Havana under Raul Castro, are they affecting the relations with Beijing? Oh, in a significant way, uh, by opening uh, the, the, the country more toward a market-oriented economy, the first model that the Cubans look is Vietnam, are China and Vietnam. The Cuban political elite see this, the insertion of China in a global economy without losing its nationalist values and without losing some of its socialist uh, aura uh, as an important part of their goal. In addition to that, they, there is a reality that the Chinese companies has become very competitive at the world level. And uh, Cuba is very motivated to uh, learn from them and to bring them to some kind of, of contacts. Notice that Cuba opened a very big space for Chinese students learning Spanish in Havana, and Cuba has expressed to China a tremendous desire to send uh, Cubans to study Chinese there because there is, as I say, a strategic preference for a close relationship with Beijing.